Promotional consideration paid for by the following. Following review is brought to you by RealHotStuff.com. RealHotStuff.com is your number one source for legitimate flashcards and accessories. You can find all of your favorite flashcards here, such as the Supercard DS2, Easy Flash 4, Gateway, R4i Gold, MT Card, and much more at great prices. Visit RealHotStuff.com and get your next flashcard today. Johnny Blaze and I'm in front of the camera today because I wanted to make an introduction to this. Um, as you were aware, a couple months ago um, I did a review for Gateway and then a review of uh, 2.0. And now in that time it's come to our full attention that there is a bricking code in it that's been bricking users 3DS's and their lack of responsibility claiming it's the clones when in reality it's also their own launcher their own users getting cloned and the fact of getting bricked in the first place rather than bricking the actual flash cart you're going to brick a three hundred dollar system totally unacceptable and then there are consistent lying and peddling of users saying yeah 2.0 is going to be released 2.0 is going to be released 2.0 is going to be released releasing this video that video and not getting anywhere and very shady practices and that's the reason why i said i wasn't going to be supporting the gateway anymore and also then the youtube with the whole flagging of videos thing that's why i haven't done any videos in a while but i needed to do this because I wasn't going to rest until I found a solution for my subscribers, for my viewers. And I, a couple days ago, MT Card actually came out with 1.1 of their firmware. And in that has the same thing as the Gateway B2, except they removed the bricking code. And actually improved on the features. They have real-time save. A um, couple of the features that Gateway 2.0 was supposed to have but didn't. And then, of course, you have the GBA 10 people pissing their pants and swearing up and down, as well as Max Console. Oh, well, they stole from Gateway, which is impossible. And in this video, I'll show you how, why it is impossible. They probably only took the EMU NAND, but then again, you know, Smealum's been doing the same thing. Now, I, t I saw the 1.1 and realized it was better than Gateway, and I can actually recommend it now to my subscribers and viewers. And... I went to this site that I, um, you know, that I, I got a couple of requests from overseas to do review videos for the MT card, and obviously none panned out. I haven't received anything, so I decided to go to my own shop um, that I go to personally, which is RealHotStuff.com, and I asked them. I took the Lady Hearst approach. Basically, said, "Look, I've shopped for you for years. I've done videos of basically everything I bought from you, save for a couple early items I didn't." Um, because I didn't have the YouTube channel at the time, and I said, well, if you have the MT card, I see, let me do, let me get a sample so I can do a review. They agreed, they saw my videos, and here it is, oh, excuse me, here it is, it just came today, as a matter of fact, and we're going to crack this bad boy open, and we're going to show you how to set it up, we're going to show you how to remove your system of everything gateway, and get you to using this, and believe me, this is completely worth it and you're going to see in a few minutes well, here why. it is this is the mt card and um very simplistic packaging but then again it's a flash card you really it really doesn't need like fancy schmancy packaging um literally literally, literally the two cards and cards in the front and then this on the back um i got mine with the stickers put on but if you were to get from some other resellers um they don't put the stickers on um but at the same time, like I said, real. if you're based in the U.S., I'd get from this site because it's actually based in the U.S. It's actually in the same state I'm in. Um, it is it is a Hong Kong site technically, but they actually have a U.S. office. They have stuff that ships out of the United States. And um, like I said, that's exactly where I get my stuff from. Um, comes apart very easily. I got to slide this thing up. I'm doing this by myself today. Because I wanted to get this done and over with. You see the two cards in the back. You can tell it's an R4i because of the red on the back. This is your blue card. This is the R4i clone. Well, it probably is an R4i, actually. They're, they're common as dog shit. Um, 
But this is the main event. This is the gateway. In this the gateway killer, I should say, to me anyway. This is the yellow card. And this is the three one that plays the games. You have your button there. Here it's nice and clicky. That changes the games. Now it's a little it's a little tiny button. Um, I don't have a macro on here, so I can't show you, but you gotta you, you gotta click it, you know, so. Um, you also have a micro SB micro U, micro SD slot right there for your multi ROM card. Then you also have a micro USB, and that's exactly what it uses to update. And that's exactly what I said. There's no way that this could be off of Gateway because Gateway obviously hasn't proven that they can update as far as its own card. This actually updates the card itself. Um, it doesn't come with a micro USB, and I believe I don't think Real Hot Stuff sells it. But micro USBs are common; like you can find them in any store. If you have a cell phone, you or a tablet, um, Android at least, most likely you'll have one already. Or if you have a PlayStation 4, micro USB is what it uses to charge the controller. So now that you see what's here, now it's time to actually set these. Two. As you can see, obviously, now we are on the MT Card website. And we're going to just get everything we need to get started. Now, what you would need to do is go under the downloads. You would need the blue card file. And you would need the version 1.1 and software 1.1. So I'm gonna. I already downloaded it. So all you gotta do is click on that. And as you can see, here's the blue card. I already have the 1.1 because I had to look at everything that was in it to do research for this video. Now you're gonna see the blue card. Now this works with any R4i. So you know, because that space code comes with things like the gateway and the MT card, and then the you know the 3ds link. Now what you're going to do is extract these, and this is my SD card, removable disk J. The uh, camera's blurry when I put in. There. there we go, as you can see, it's going to install everything. I know the Kingston cards are a little slow for the 8 gig, I don't know why. So. That's done, and I'm going to show you right now if you have the if you're moving from Gateway to the MT card, how to get back your um, SD card that you used for the Gateway. Obviously, we're going to show you how to reuse the SD card you had for the Gateway NAND. Now, supposedly from people, you know, from all over the forums, but then again, some of it's GTA GBA temp, and they love to BS people over there and think they know everything. Um, I'd rather start fresh because, you know, you never know. They claim it's diagnostics, but, you know, since MT card supposedly doesn't brick and they fixed it, I'd rather go fresh. And to do that, you would need, you know, this is the card that's in the 3DS, and this is where we put the launcher file on. But there's one problem, as you'll see when I insert it into the computer. Bear with me for a second. We're going to go to the computer... And now the problem with the gateway NAND is that they take one gig free and it's supposed to be a four gig card. You try to get your, now if you put in for disk management, you're going to see that one gig, but nothing's going to happen. Now I already backed up my AMU NAND just in case, but um, it's best to start out fresh. And the way to do that is technically you can go to control R. No, control R, Windows R, I'm sorry. And But I already know how to go to run. You put disk part in, and here it is. Now, for disk part, you'd put list disk. And you'll see all the hard drives there. Now, obviously, you want megabyte. You know, don't make an accident and delete your external. You'll be screwed. Um, but yeah, you want to go to 30, 3827 meg. That's the four gig. Now, what, well, now we're going to select disc seven. So what we're going to do is select disc. I'm typing as I'm looking in the viewfinder. Don't mind me. Select disc seven. 
the 7 is now the selected disk. And that's our SD card. Now what we want to do is clean disk part succeeded in cleaning the disk. Now you want to go to create partition primary. And that would and exit. So now what you should see look into this is a partition now we obviously want to format it and you'll see the proper formatting which is 373 we're going to do our quick format again and that's done now it should be ready for use for MT card now what we're going to do is we're going to go to MT card volume 1 1.1 and we're going to go to Launcher. And we're going to copy it to the removable disk. And it's as simple as that. Now we're going to hook up the MT card to the computer. And we're going to update the actual card itself to 1.1. Now if you are using this at 1.01 and somehow keep it there. Even though I don't recommend it because I mean, it has no brick. There's been no reports of bricking at all. Um, and letters to MT card have actually said that they removed the bricking code. So you can update to 1.1. And I'll show you how to do that. You know, you don't need, if you want to stay at 1.0, you could just run it out of the box. But I'd rather update to 1.1. So we're going to show you how to do that right now. Okay, first of all, I'm going to show you how to update your MT card. And of course, we have it right here. This is the white card. And like I said earlier, it has a micro USB slot. Now, here's a micro USB. I should say this is um, this can be found almost anywhere. Like I said, if you have an Android phone or tablet, you most likely already have one of these. As the thing that you plug it into the wall is just a USB charger. Or like I said, if you have a PlayStation 4 like me. You have this cord because it, it um, charges your controller. This is the only way I have one because I'm an Apple person. So what we're going to do, I'm going to put it off camera a minute. And it's supposed to click in just like that. You see the blue light? It's in. Now, just gonna, it's, it's better to just hold it. Because, I mean, let's face it. You know, you know, it's not something you want getting lost. So we're going to go to the MT card. We're going to go to the updater, which is version 1.1. Okay. And usually says blank out for update, but we're just going to take this out real quick. Just bear with me. And we're going to plug it back in. And there you go, it says update, or not. Wait a minute. Oh, we have to fiddle with it. Okay, so now that it says update, make sure the blue light's on and that this says update. And yes, you do. And update success. Now just ignore this crap in the back. You don't need to worry about that. Now that was just that easy. Now you might have to conf now sometimes the USB cord will look like this when you put it in, but it needs to be straight. So you need to just hold this like this when it's updating. And that's as easy as that. So now we're going to show you the rest.